So, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna compare the Canon RF 50mm 1.8 STM and the Canon FD 50mm 1.8. Roll and roll. The main difference between these two lenses is obviously this is a pretty modern lens and this is a vintage lens. This one has autofocus, this one has not. This is just manual focusing. And yeah. I'm not gonna talk much about technical differences and I'm gonna tell, talk more about the feeling you get with those lenses and how different the result will be in similar pictures. First, uh, the Canon RF 50mm is from November 2020. The Canon FD 50mm 1.8 is based on my research Wikipedia from 71, maybe 73, but I think 71 is right. And I mainly use it normally with this Canon AE1. I use it with a adapter you see here, with the vintage, uh, with the adapter, you just put the vintage lens on there, and boom. Yeah, this is the whole setup for the shooting. Have fun. I was not too much into talking at that follow-up, so the first half is pretty much not talking, just music and taking photos and showing you all the results. And the other half, I uh, talk a little bit. I will say something in between, and at the end, my conclusion. Have fun.
so as you see in that shot, the problem actually with the autofocus is that, especially in street photography, sometimes you don't want to focus on what the autofocus wants to focus on, and then you have to play around a little bit. Um, with the hot vintage lens, you can just turn around on the front and focus on the object you want. On modern cameras, there is a built-in function in which will show you in a certain color, I don't know, blue, yellow or red, depends on what your settings are. Uh, what's in focus, which is, comes in very handy. The problem with the autofocus is pretty simple. Um, all of the way with just tapping on the screen where you want to focus. Yeah. That much today, uh, cause I'm uh, kind of sick. Uh, no, uh, uh, what it's called, uh, allergic to uh, grass and pollen. And <laughs> my nose is running. My eyes are uh, running. Can you see it right there? And yeah, so it's more like a chill video today. And yeah, uh, we're testing out 50 mil versus 50 mil. Taking a close up shot right there, focusing nice. Um, here okay, you can see uh, where the blue is, is the focus. Yeah, looks quite similar to be honest. 
Ah, uh, sorry for the noise. Pushing sandals. Again, Ryan and the channels. Um, pretty similar. So maybe the colors are a little bit different. We have to see the other. By the way, I'm listening to Knock Loose right now. Nice hardcore band from the States. Yeah, always nice. So I have some decent music on your box. There's way too much construction inside. But look at this funky looking building. I always think, uh, I always question myself, like, is this, and does it have a purpose? Of the green? Hmm.
Hands changed. Tap. Um, are we still? I somehow have the feeling that the uh, planet of D is actually brighter. I always have to adjust, adjust, adjust them. So, to come to my conclusion at the end of the day, there were some situations where I actually preferred the vintage lens because of its look, because it does do some have when getting uh, much more than the newer lens and it has a really funky looking bouquet and yeah it has overall a much more dreamy look or dreamier look and yeah especially if you want to go for all that style especially film look then yeah go with the FD if you just want more a crispier more modern look in your pictures and especially the all focus function for a lot of shootings and styles of photography then go with this I have to say this has much more of a vibe to it as the young folks says, this is working. This is like a workhorse, it's doing its job, um, especially for the prize. One thing I noticed is, one of the two things I noticed is, sometimes I have to actually go up with the shutter speed because I had the feeling this was much brighter and you have much more depth of field with this one. I shot everything at f2.8 and there was a little color shift actually more to the warmer yellow uh, side of this lens and also I had the feeling that the shadows were much brighter. So, this was it for this week. I hope you liked it. If you like more comparisons of modern lenses with old, especially cheap vintage lenses, let me know in the comments. And so, like if you want to. Comment if you want to and subscribe if you want to. Until the next video, goodbye.